Hey guys, thank you for joining us. I'm actually here today with Cheshire Cat, and this is all brought to you guys by Cyber City Media here from DreamHack Dallas. And we're really excited to be here because we want to be able to give you guys as much of the diversified content as we can. And so we really haven't been able to bring you a streamer that's seen a series of success on Twitch specifically um, because everyone's kind of busy upstairs streaming everything that's been kind of going on. Um, but the cat here has been nice enough to stop by. We're actually filming in one of their press rooms, which happened to be in the basement. So we've been joking about the basement for some reason for the last 15 minutes. Um, but I wanted to talk about what got you into streaming in the first place. So I started streaming a few years ago. It was very on and off because it was like literally I built my PC and mm -hmm. I never had a desktop before. I always played games on a really? laptop. Yes. And I played and the only games I could play were like League of Legends and Minecraft because I was Only games I could play. I was playing on a MacBook Air. So Good the for you. only games that were available on a MacBook Air were like Minecraft Those and League of Legends. Those are great games. They were great, but and not on a MacBook Air. <laughs> Did you never own a console as a kid? I no, my parent. Well, I had like my a three, a, a DS, and then I got a three oh, okay. DS when I started working at GameStop. But like, I never had an actual Xbox. You worked at GameStop and went. Mm, I still want to play on a small screen. That's cool. All right, you could have done whatever you wanted. When I started <laughs> working at GameStop, I made a pact to build a PC. I built a PC and I started PC gaming. And my friends were like, we want to watch you play Dark Souls 3. Ooh, ew. And I was like, that sounds like so much fun. Have you played Dark Souls 1 and 2 before? No, I had never oh, played okay. a Dark Souls game. So I was super excited. So your first fans were also trolls. Like they were. Trolls. Well, because they were my friends, which is why you I... hang out with trolls under bridges and stuff? Apparently. Okay. Apparently. I mean, that's why I started streaming. I was just like, yeah, I want to play in front of my friends. And they were joining, and we were hanging out playing Dark Souls, and they were laughing at me cry because I couldn't get past certain bosses, and it was... How often did you cry during that game? Like, let's be honest. I didn't really cry, per se. It was like a scream slash did tears. Did you break any, like, keyboards or any mouses, mices? No. I've never, mices. Been, I've never been a violent gamer. I have I throw things, like, down on my desk, but I don't, like, break things, you know? Is it because they're unbreakable or because you're not angry enough? Probably. Actually, for the first time ever, I broke the scroll wheel on my mouse, and I'm positive that it's because I was so mad at Dead by Daylight that I, like, smashed my mouse down, and now the scroll wheel is... Is broken, yeah. That's, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, well, Logitech came out with a new wireless mouse. <laughs> I'm just saying, hit them <laughs> up. It's possible. Um, okay, so angry young lady gets into the most difficult game possible what could go wrong right exactly and so what got you past that like what what really was kind of that moment where you're like oh i kind of like this this is kind of cool well i loved it because my friends were always in my chat with me like talking to me but i would never like i never met anyone new doing that with them yeah, yeah. so when i started on twitch people would come in and i was like wow this new person that yeah. obviously never met before in my life, is chatting with me now. I was like, this is a cool way to make new friends and actually, like, get more info on the game and not have to watch tutorials because, you know, we have all these backseat gamers coming in here. And I'm like, wow, great, great lessons. I like people. Me. Let's do this. Yeah. So that's why I actually kept streaming. Okay. Uh, I stopped for a little while because I had, like, no desk. I was streaming on a bookshelf on my bed. That's cool. I like yeah. that move. It was Could have picked a door. You just get, like, a door at the, I don't know, somewhere. No, it was it was an awkward setup. My setup before was very bad, so uh, I stopped streaming for a little while. Got back What's into it. What's a little it. while? About a year. <laughs> yeah, that's not a little while. That's a breakup. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Had this on and off Life relationship got in the way. Friend. But when I started streaming again, it was very serious. Was it Kyle's for me. fault? It wasn't Kyle's fault. No. <laughs> <laughs> Recording everything here. Um, okay, so it wasn't Kyle's fault. That's cool. Um, but how long were you streaming initially before you took that break? And then how long have you been streaming since you took that break? Well, streaming with me has been very, very on and off for like two years. Because I started, I want to say, in 2017, 
was when I first, or 2015, was okay. when I first started streaming. I took a year off, 2016. I was like, yeah, I'll stream a little bit yeah. here and there. But I had a full-time job. Or you so don't. So I was, I think, I think I was working two jobs, one at Sally's and one at GameStop. Ooh. And I was trying to stream on the side and have a social life and a relationship. It was like, I don't Spread know how thing. I slept. Yeah. Because now that I'm full-time streaming, I still don't sleep. But I think I work harder now than I ever did when I actually had retail jobs. That Okay. You, so. you sleep? That's probably, like, an important thing. <coughs> like, sleeping, like, running, eating. Nobody Pretty needs sleeping. Showering. Showering's food. a good one. Showering is why I don't sleep, you know? Because I got to sacrifice showers. something. So it's sleep. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Maybe every other day, like, take a nap. Okay. Yeah. Don't take a shower. <laughs> uh, look. Okay, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, do you want to fall asleep at the wheel? But what if I never go anywhere? Because I'm just streaming. Kyle's all the just time. like, I drive her everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. Okay, well, it's good to have a chauffeur. I'm just saying, like, VIP. <laughs> Not bad. But I've been full time streaming for a solid year now. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so, what made you want to go in full-time stream since you've had this like on again off again relationship with streaming so uh, a year ago i was offered a streaming like service platform thing i guess they were like do you want to stream full-time we'll pay you 15 dollars an hour set pay mm -hmm. for a certain number of hours a month and i for was like anyone in particular for playing PUBG." and it, oh. was, it was just some random cool. like it was kind of like D Live, but I don't yeah, remember yeah, what it was yeah, called because yeah. it was like off the wall. Yeah, yeah. And they gave me a three month contract, and I was like, I mean, if that means I can play PUBG in the daytime, yeah, getting paid for it, and then switch to Twitch at night. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Then I'll do it. So that's when I transitioned to full time streaming, and I was technically streaming full time because mm -hmm. I was playing PUBG twelve hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord! Yeah, it was and incredible. Then showering for the other eight hours. It's great. Uh, uh, yeah, because there's only twenty hours in a day. Yeah, there's only twenty hours in a day. <laughs> Did you guys not know this? We changed this recently. <laughs> That's a fact. Day daylight savings. Daylight. We saved Save a four lot. Four hours. Four hours every day. In the day. <laughs> times three sixty five. Do the math. I okay. No? I'm not good at math. Kyle, <laughs> calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just a heads up. We're going to be using Kyle just for all of our jokes. <laughs> he's he's basically like a kid in like the 1950s. Um, not heard, not seen. Right. Oh, yeah. At all. Until he's like 18. And then he's like, ah, oh, this is my kid. <laughs> just assume this would happen. <laughs> With, With well, children. Okay. Yeah. Of, of like, you know, the upper class. Sure. You send them away to boy, uh, boy school. <laughs> boy uh, <laughs> if prep it's a girl, school. boy school. <laughs> <laughs> boy if school it's a for dog, everyone. boy school. <laughs> that could work if it's a boy dog. <laughs> boy school. <laughs> Boys need pets too. It's a good boy school. <laughs> it, yeah, it is. It's a great boy school. They call it a prep school now. Duh. Okay. I was never informed of this, so. Neither was I until I met this Australian kid who went to, like, an all-boys school. And I was like, wait, what? That's a thing? He's like, yeah, dude. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I don't know why you want to do that. I think it would be great. Okay. The main reason for that is they also had, like, a, only, like a girls-only school across, like, the, the pond. Like, it was only separated by, like, a pond or a lake or something. Whatever. Boats. Rowboats. Um, <laughs> and then you can like on the weekends like go on a date or something but like while you're at the school you're just focusing on sports and your studies and that's it oh I just imagine like a military school and like that to me is exciting I'm like oh military school would be so much fun just get to like run work out and go to class and that's it that sounds exhilarating truly you don't sleep you can't <laughs> judge me <laughs> Just saying, it could be really fun. Okay, I believe you. What, whatever, I'm being judged right now, and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not judging. Anyway, <laughs> back to streaming. Also, how was Sally's? I feel like that would have been a fun job. Oh, it was the worst job. Retail is awful anyway, but Sally's was just terrible. I mainly ask because your hair is blue. Sally's is a, a 
like a cosmetology store where you can get a bunch of different things. Yeah, it's a beauty shop type thing, yeah. yeah. Cosmetology is the degree in which you get in order to go into Sally's and get a discount, I sir. you don't mean to get uh, they're, they're the cosmetology? Pass that. They're almost, you still do, but they're passing the law. So <laughs> my mom is a hairstylist. I know stuff. Okay, okay. So blue hair. <clears throat> Why? I love blue hair. Why? Oh. Tell me why. <laughs> I want to know more. So I have blue hair when I like before I started streaming the first mm -hmm. time, and then I had to get rid of it because I started working at Sally's <laughs> and GameStop. So, mm, not gonna have an opinion on that. GameStop was like, it's all right because PlayStation. Because GameStop. <laughs> but Sally was like, it's PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. Could have well, had green hair because Xbox. That's what I mean. They wouldn't hire anyone with pink hair. I don't know. I'm is, not. I'm serious. It's not pink. What? Whatever. Mario has a <laughs> bunch of different colors. If you combine them together, you can get whatever you want. Point is, I had to change my hair back because... Fine. Because... I had to change my hair professional back. Professional. Oh, I thought you changed things. it back to blue. I was like, oh, for professional no, reasons. All right. But when I went full-time streaming, I was like, well, I don't need to be in the professional scene anymore when it comes to work-type retail stuff. So I went back to blue, and I've been blue for a year now, again. Blue da bu dee bu dee da. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my head. That's Literally where my brain every went. Time. <laughs> every time. That's such a no. sad intro song. No, I I just put my Spotify on shuffle. Spotify. My Spotify. <laughs> my <Yeah>. shuffle fi. <laughs> I literally just shuffle it and then. She only uses the S as a sh. That's it. Shuffle is a soft sh sound. Schmear. Spotify. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's working. All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so, Dead by Daylight. Why Dead by Daylight? And then, do you play anything else, or do you want to switch games at any point in time? Well, I was a strictly, like, PUBG streamer mm -hmm. until August, when I stopped working for the contract company. Okay. And then I went to... So, your three-month contract got extended to a full-year contract, then? The no. original one? You said you've been streaming full-time for a year. Yes, but I've been full-time on Twitch since August. Gotcha. Of last year, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So um, when I started streaming full-time on Twitch, I was doing uh, RPG games instead of mm -hmm. FPS because I was so tired of PUBG. At yeah, that yeah, point, yeah. I was like, this game is literally the worst. Never again. And I stopped playing Battle Royale. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I started playing RPGs. I was playing Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War, like, oh, yeah. Lord of the Rings and Medieval Times are, like, my favorite, so. Are you going to play Mordow at all? I've seen it played, but it's not something I'll stream. Why? Um, it's just the content I stream now. I, since I've developed, like, a kind of Dead by Daylight community, mm -hmm. that's, I mean, They're I stick with that. They're going to disappear if you, yeah. It's not that they'll disappear. My community is really tight knit. It's just that most of them have gotten into Dead by Daylight f because of me. So if I start playing another game now, then it's just a it's weird dynamic changing games when you're a full time one game streamer. But I mean, do you get bored? With Dead by Daylight, I do not. No. Really? Why? Uh, it's just such a dynamic game. They're constantly adding things. It it can use a lot of quality of life changes okay um and improvements but i know they're working so hard on doing that the devs are great they keep in contact with um their like fan base and mm -hmm. everything they're really good at contact um and communication so i just personally love the game mm -hmm. and i love the dynamic i play specifically survivor but i branch off and play killer sometimes when i don't have a full yeah, survive yeah, yeah. with friend squad or duo or something and i just really enjoy the game it, it has yet to bore me, and I'm on 760-something hours. Good Lord, man. Some of the other Dead by Daylight streamers I know are finally beginning to branch off into other games, like Mario Kart or something as a side game, like, on stream. Yeah. And um, and they have thousands of hours, like, four or 5,000 hours Good in Dead Lord. by Daylight. Yeah. So and like, until I hit 4,000, like, I can't. Just now branching off. I'm like, dang. You gotta put in more time. You gotta. I do. I have to grind. You yeah. know. Yeah. You have to earn your ability to go to different <laughs> games. 
can't make those decisions on your own. Not what are you, an all. adult? No, yeah. Gotta play Dead by Daylight. Jeez. I do Pay love the game, dues. though. I do. I really do. Okay. So, have you talked to the devs? Is there going to be a new Dead by Daylight? Or is there going to be a different sort of game? You're showing me Deceit? De- De- Deceit is... Um, I've, I've seen people play Deceit... And it's really interesting. I've thought about playing it myself, but I have not personally tried it yet. Um, What's the premise for it? Uh, apparently, you have a group of people. One person is um, literally like the bad guy, the and then everyone else, yeah, it, basically, and everyone else tries to figure out who it is without knowing. But I have not played it, so I don't know much about it. Yeah. That's all I know. So would you want to stick within that realm of that sort of game if you ever switch? Or would you, you think, go just to something completely different? Oh, I would absolutely stay within the realm of like horror slash Survivor survival slash, games. Yeah, yeah I, I've played a couple of uh, games recently like... Uh, Layers of Fear. I just yeah, yeah. played this Layers week. Layers just came out, right? Yeah, w- yes, the second one just came out. Yeah. Um, I just played the first one for the first time, but I am the biggest baby, so it was very hard for me. A child. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm a little baby. I don't watch scary movies. So like, I, I love <laughs> horror. I don't. So that's I why I, I mean, I started playing Dead by Daylight in October of last year, 760 hours later, and I just adore horror, so the game you matches with war. me. I mean, Total War Games is the best. Death Garden just, I believe, just came out, re, like, re-came out. I'm not sure, because I haven't. Re-released. Well, I've heard a couple things about it. I mean, a, a bunch of big Dead by Daylight streamers are streaming it right now, because it is um, be, a behavior game. Yeah. So. so how much time do you spend networking within the community of Dead by Daylight? Like, do you spend a lot of time networking in there with other streamers, or do you spend a lot of time just actually playing the game? Well, I don't really consider, net, like, going into other community member streams um, networking, because that's not what I'm doing there. I'm literally just watching their streams. You know, mm-hmm. I'm enjoying their content. Networking um, feels like a dirty word. I just use it as a kind no, of I umbrella. No, I, I, I mean, I appreciate the word networking. I do think that a lot of people abuse the term, mm-hmm. but um, that's just not what I'm doing when I'm watching the yeah, streams. Yeah, yeah. You genuinely so, want to be there, yeah, which if, is the best way to approach it. Well, yeah, and if I'm going into somebody else's stream, I'm not going to do it to promote my channel or to mm-hmm. get, like, their, you know, like, I have a purple check mark next to my name, and it's not because I just want people to know I'm partnered. It's because, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I just am partnered. It's not because of yeah, a yeah, big, yeah. it's not a big deal, you know? Mm-hmm. So when I go into other people's streams, a lot of the times I'll lurk because I don't want to chat and get everyone hyped about some kind of, like, status. And yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. hate that. Um, a lot of the times I'll, like, literally turn off the symbol on Twitch and my ch- Twitch chat just because I want to talk and I don't want it to become all about this other streamer, this other partner that's in your channel. Because yeah. I think that's a really bad feeling, you know? But what if they're your friend? Well, a lot of them are my <laughs> friends. And a lot of them, their chats know me, and their chats, like, address me as such. But if they have, you know, if they've just been raided or yeah. they have a bunch of new people in there, I'm not trying to make it about me. And I feel like a lot of streamers tend to do that in communities that they're tightly woven in if they stream as well. Yeah. Um, and like I said, like, <laughs> I don't think I mean I just don't think it's like I think it's all about perception definitely and I think like and you just want to you want to have the best kind of side of your brand shown which yeah. includes like I'm not here to kind of draw attention I just want to support you right and yeah. I'm trying to like be friends with these people not do you ever play with them like do you ever play oh, with absolutely. a lot of those streamers i've played with quite a few larger dead by daylight streamers um because obviously like my friend my close duo partner plays mm-hmm. with them often so they'll come in and play my in my games too um a couple of them have me added on steam so i know when they're playing okay. if they want to invite me they do or vice versa yeah, yeah, yeah. and a lot of the times it is offline too um but it's not something that I, like, make public. Mm-hmm. Like, people don't know I'm playing with it when I am. Because I yeah, just yeah, don't yeah, yeah. think it's, like, I don't know, the word that's 
So you hate business is what you're saying. It is risky. It is. And it's not that I hate business. I, <laughs> I network on Twitter and Instagram consistently, but I keep my networking off of the Twitch realm like itself because I just think that it's not it's not it makes you very unapproachable when you're all about business and your friends chats. You don't have to be all about business, but it's know. it's okay. It makes me feel awkward. Like when people shout me out in their channels, I'm like you're, you're in front of a computer, I'm it's famous. fine. <laughs> I'm famous, look at me. I just feel awkward. I'm just like, please don't do that. I'm not trying to steal anybody's attention right now. I mean, you don't have to steal anyone's clouds. You'd be like, yo, hey guys, what's up? College <laughs> girl. <laughs> <laughs> but I do network. Okay. I, I network three to four hours a day on Twitter and Instagram. You could stop networking and start sleeping. Uh, well, it's possible. Or okay. showering again. But then know. my Instagram would stop growing. My Twitter would stop growing. How big is your Instagram? Um, I'm sitting at right at 27,000 on Instagram. Whoa. Uh, okay. But I really, really have seen a lot of growth in the past couple of months. Uh, I was at 10K like a year ago, and then I saw a straight decline. Like I just wasn't getting really? like consistent followers. And then uh, midway through last year, I started getting really serious about it again, mm -hmm. and I started seeing an incline. And for the past, I mean, this like this year, 2019, mm -hmm. I've seen a, a really good growth. I just hit 20K a month and a half ago, and now I'm at 27, so. So what sort of content are you posting that is giving, that's making people want to follow you? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm just being myself. Photos of my face. I literally, I've just become like, I've just started like with my Twitter and my Instagram, just posting things about my life. Like I just am who I Good. am. I'm glad. Most people post stupid things. Uh, yeah, I don't want to post I am stupid. My life is stupid, so I post stupid things. Is Kyle anywhere on there? No. <laughs> stupid things. I <laughs> I try my hardest. I have a personal Instagram. And I have a professional Instagram. Try my hardest to keep the two separate because I just feel like if I'm going to be a professional streamer, if I'm going to be full-time. So the professional time, one has 27,000. The personal one has like. Yeah, I think 2K or something. That, that's a lot of friends. You have a lot of friends. Jesus. I mean, you're really good at networking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really focusing on Twitter either. right now. Twitter is my favorite, favorite social media platform at the Why? moment. I have met so many cool people on there. That's where I've met all my Dead by Daylight friends. Like, nice, okay. literally did not know them. Like, until February of this year, I really didn't use Twitter and I really didn't do any of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go to Dead by Daylight streamers channels. Did I you announce your stuff on your Twitter at all? Like the fact you were live? Not until right around February of this year. Like I said, I didn't use wow. Twitter. And then I started using it, and I was like, I love oh, this wow, app. this is great. This is the best app. I can just post whatever's on my mind. And people are like, yeah, me too. <laughs> High Whoa, five. Whoa, that's us. So how much has it grown? Um... I don't know numbers with months, but I'm at like <laughs> okay. something around 5,000 right now. Okay. Twitter followers. Um, but. So what's your normal audience look like on Dead by Daylight? Like how many, how many people do you get in your channel? So I get anywhere from 40 to 70 viewers per stream. Um, usually live views at a time. It's right. It hovers right around 45 to 65. Um, it. it greatly depends on the time of day I am streaming. And you know set schedule or? Well, I have a set schedule, but I am the worst, I am the worst time management person you have ever met. Literally calendar. the worst. Calendar. It's not, it's not that I can't keep a calendar or a schedule. It's just <laughs> I can late. write it down. I just can't do the things on it. I'm late for everything. I, I it, it's probably the sleep thing. <laughs> Honestly, honest, maybe. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm gonna have some off-air advice for you. Um, <laughs> it's just funny that like I'm. I hate being like this is my. It's not a pet peeve. I just really don't care about being on time to social occasions. I genuinely like it. I don't care. Um, is the main thing. 
professional, I'm dude, I'm here. Let's go. But anything that has to be like social or like birthdays, anniversaries, I'm on time, but like birthdays and stuff, like birthday parties. Well, I feel I like can't. I feel like that's why I don't have a very set schedule for stream because I view stream as even though it's a professional thing, it's where I'm earning my money, it's more social for me. So, I'm not as strict about it. Mom? Yeah, it's it's because because we're friends. You know, it's my friends. It's a group of my friends that I'm playing games with and for and talking to. So I think that's why it's not as, like, strict for me. And I need to, like, grasp that it needs to be. But I just haven't wrapped my head around it. Okay. All right. I don't know how that works. But all right. I'm not judging you, though. Like, I'm late to stuff, too. But, I mean, you know, if your audience, if they're cool with it, then really and truly doesn't matter. I mean, I kind of built my brand around. Being late. To yeah. Stuff. I mean, cool. it's Alice in Wonderland. No. Cheshire Cat. That's what your name is. Yes, but my brand is Wonderland overall. Got it. So. That makes sense. It's easier to wrap. You know she dies, right? <laughs> Everybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And there you have it, guys. That's our message for the day. Everyone dies. Eventually, Live a happy life. I mean. <laughs> that's, that's how we're ending this today. Thank you guys for joining us. Everyone dies. This is the Cheshire Cat. Actually, we are kind of ending this right now. Do you want to do any plugs for your social media? Let's let's hear about your Instagram and your Twitter. How can we reach you? My Instagram is the Cheshire Cat dot TV because the Cheshire Cat's taken. <gasps> My Twitter no. is Cheshire Cat TV. You didn't add a dot to that one. With Twitter, you can't. Do Not it. Not in the tag. Do it. Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> Cat is spelled with K A T. Oh, it is. Yes. I got it you. Is. Thank you. Um, and then again, my name is Daniel with Constantine Media. You guys can reach me on Twitter at Daniel Laner, D A N I J E L L E I N E R. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. And then thank you again to Cyber City Media for having us out here at Dream Hack Dallas. We'll see you guys soon.